Hey everybody, it's Bob Boob, the real estate guy. Now behind the camera is Josh Boob. Say hi, Josh. Uh, there, there, hey everybody. There's Josh. Hey, All right, so you got a set of boobs here doing our video for you. Um, okay, so Josh, maybe if you want to show them right and left of you, we're standing here at 413 Clinton Street. Uh, this is located in the borough of Avis, PA, Clinton County, Clinton Street in Clinton County but part of the Jersey Shore School District then. Um, a lot of cool features of this house we're gonna show you here then. Of course, you can tell it's a two-story with the vinyl siding. As you look up at the roof there, uh, what year was the roof put on? 2016. 2016, so what's that? Six years ago, right? Yeah, yeah, I can It's hard to believe. I, I know, six years ago, huh? Yeah. But well, that's a relatively new roof, and uh, of course, you can tell over there to the right, kind of somewhere in between the two houses will be your boundary line. As we're walking here, now Josh, be careful with the ice. Uh, Glad we're filming this. This could be real funny if I fall. Oh, oh, this would be hilarious, actually, but not if I fall. But uh, Avis Borough, again, like we said, located in Clinton County, uh, part of the Jersey Shore School District. But there's uh, a couple financing programs that this house should uh, qualify for. Um, you've got these low down, what I call the alphabet soup of financing, or all these government loans. Might have to do a little bit of work to the property to make it work for those sort of things, but some really low down, low interest rate programs. You can see here, as we're walking, they have a fenced in fenced in yard. So if you have kids or pets, or you just don't want anybody coming in your yard, you got a good fence for that. And then down here, one of the reasons we're walking down the alley, we wanted to show you, have a garage here. Now, as you continue down, so I'm facing south right here. So off to Josh's left would be east, and then off to our right is west. Of course, behind as we walk back up will be north. So you got a nice southern southern view here. So this backyard actually gets sun east to west. So it's a real nice space for uh, for that. I guess we'd call this a, a, a oversized one car or a small two car garage then. And then I guess we can show them inside here, Josh, right? Yep, that's open. All right. And then uh, you come in here. There is electric. You can see the lights on. They've got power out here. Um, nice workshop area. Uh, of course, a lot of personal property. There's some weird people out there that I understand park cars in these things, but I'm not one of those weird people. I use it for storage. But, uh, ooh, m and M's buck. You see that? Yeah, see if there's any in there. Whoa! No, no. Wonder no. if the M&M, maybe we have to work that into our real estate commission that the M&M stays with us. Absolutely. We can use it at the office. There's a lot of snacks uh, inside. So absolutely, we'll then. So, nice size garage area, huh? Well, I'll tell you what, guys. Why don't we do this? We're going to hit pause so that you don't actually get us on film falling on the ice here. And then we'll take you inside and show you a little bit more around. So we'll be right back. One. Okay, we're back at the front. Of course, behind Josh is a super cool red Jeep that is not included with the sale. Gotta day. get that in there. Oh, Josh, nice picture there on the, that's on good. the sign. There. That's a good hair day. I remember right, that day. Nice. Come on in. You can see it's a wraparound porch here in the front. Now, uh, one of the second or third questions asked by all buyers when they're looking at houses. Actually, hey, hey, let me take a stab at this one. Why are they selling? Why, why are they selling? Exactly. What's the number one question you think buyers usually ask uh, about? How much is it? How the much house? is yeah. it? Exactly. Well, you got to go to the websites to get the price because prices can change, but we use the same video. But why they're selling, and you're going to partly see this, they, they are a great couple, but they have outgrown this house. So they need a much larger house then. But really, this isn't a small house. It's just a tad under 1,600 yeah. square foot, according to the assessment card. And Josh, you know what? I'll just let you kind of walk and scan here as I'm going around, but you'll see it's a nice size kitchen, a little bigger than a galley kitchen, but not like an open kitchen for where you can eat at. You're gonna see, like we told you, the roof's 2016. You got the newer windows, the vinyl clad that have the pull out flippy dippy things for easy cleaning. Flippy dippy is a professional real Absolutely estate term. Is. Absolutely, yep. of course, the dining area. Now, Josh, I got a built-in dishwasher, but I don't remember. Are they leaving their... All appliances <clears throat> do stay. All appliances mm -hmm. are going to stay. So you got an overhead microwave and electric stove and refrigerator. Now, mm -hmm. careful here, Josh. I'm going to step down here. So this would be like a mudroom area. Um, so this is some extra space here that one could maybe use a little differently. They're just using it for storage. But I want to give you guys a better idea of what the yard area looks like. Now, again, Josh, be careful here. I don't want you to fall. So, but can you imagine... Again, in the summer, your sun's coming up there left on the east and heading to the west. So, as a matter of fact, right there we are. And, uh, well, let's see, according to the sun there, I think it's about 1236, Josh, is what it is there, if I'm looking at that correctly then. <laughs> pretty spot on. But uh, here is the fenced-in yard area. So, it could be a good spot to put a small 
pull for the kids or yourself. Of course, you have the garage deck area here. But it's just nice. And one of the things I started to tell you, over to your left, I believe it would be, Josh, would be that big park that Davis has, right? Yes. Yeah, that's yes. over there. So that's that's nice. They have a, a dog walking area. They have a park for the kids to play at. There's uh, lots of places to walk. And then, of course, one of the greatest things um, of Avis, Pennsylvania is they have Dairy Queen. So absolutely. Dairy yeah. Queen's going to be opening real, real I was going to say, I think that's opening. Yep, absolutely then. And, uh, but they have other conveniences too, the dollar store and Burger King. And um, actually, one of the reasons that a lot of people like Avis, in case you're not real familiar with it, is that with it being real close to Route 220, it's an easy access for people to, you guys didn't get to see this, but Josh was just sliding on his feet right now. He did a really good job keeping his composure yeah. there. All right, wait, come on through, Josh. We'll keep walking and talking here. But you have the wood floors. But Avis itself is right by 220, so some people head to State College for work. Uh, other people head east maybe to Williamsport for work. So it's a real good... Easy on and off. Yeah. Uh, absolutely. All right, so here's one of the... The, this is natural gas here, so that's a heater that they use there. Josh, I'll let you walk and in. I know you got your coat on, but it is real warm oh, in here, isn't it? It's a toasty, really, really warm I, heat. Matter of fact, marshmallows would be good right here. I'm now, sure we could I find thought some. About yeah. it, we could have done marshmallows here <laughs> over here then. But uh, over here, you have the bathroom. Big bathroom, huh? Yeah, one of two. One of two bathrooms. Oh, that's right. This house has two. Yep. Two bathrooms. She got the shower down here. And again, nice size bath. I don't know, I'm maybe nine by ten or something like that. I'm not real, always real good with that measurements but as we continue on the tour of 413 clinton street avis pennsylvania clinton county in the commonwealth of pennsylvania we now are in the living room area now you'll see with their furniture layout they don't use that door so they have a door there that can access or of course the door we came in with the the kitchen area and this is nice with all the woodwork um little what do they call it like a on cove that's not the right word i can't i don't do big words I can't, yeah, yeah but just a nice little extra space here now at one time the washer dryer were in the basement here so what this owner what they did is they moved up washer dryer to be upstairs with the stackable i think that had been a little bath area in there too at one time so they already had the plumbing one of the other thoughts was <clears throat> that back porch area mudroom if you insulated that, made that warmer, you could have a full-size washer dryer on the left and right, and then you could That'd be do a real nice you area, yeah, do that. Right off the kitchen then, too. Here, Josh, I guess, can kind of show you here again with the, the, replacement the windows, newer, yeah. newer windows there. Okay, so let's see. You know what, Josh? Let's do this. Let's hit pause. Let's take them down to the dungeon in the basement area, because we got some really cool, exciting stuff to show you in the basement. So we'll be right back. What? Okay. Basements are exciting to us realtors and stuff. I know they're really boring spots once you buy a house and you hardly ever go down there to stay away from the bugs and the spiders and everything. But behind Josh, there's an extra storage room here and they got power down here. You can see now the floor is gravel. So I don't know if they get, we are on a hill here. So you, I don't know if you get some water during the rain or spring. So it's always a good idea to keep things up just so it doesn't get wet or anything. Oh, Josh, look. Well, there's the liquor cabinet. Oh, we got the good stuff. Oh, all man. Right. Okay. We should probably do a better inspection of this room later. After Absolutely. The yeah. Okay. Now, all right. So, now we come on through. Now, this is an old oil. Oil. O-I-L. Oil. 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 From down Texas. You got oil there. But this is not what heats the property. What you're seeing in the house is we have three ventless wall natural gas heaters. They do a beautiful job. If for any particular reason the financing does not accept that, or you don't want that, as the buyer of the property, we have right now worked into the sale price a new gas boiler that can be put right here then. So what that would mean, you can still have these as auxiliary heat, but you can have a gas boiler. Now we don't, the, the new furnace, I guess you could put a domestic coil, but really there's probably no reason for that because you have a newer electric hot water heater here. This is the utility sink right here. Because of course, remember before they had the washer dryer down here, so that's why they had that. Um, sub pump to help you know get rid of any water that might be underground here, get away from the house. This is a water system. Years ago, the borough of Avis had a crazy fiasco with their water supply. Um, I think most of those issues have been taken care of and squared away by the new company now. But a lot of people just 
went overkill and they put in water softeners just so that everything was good to go. So that's what you have here. And then, this is newer. Within the last year or two, they put that in. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. At, the bones of this house are so, so good. You have that newer, um, whoop, I can't open up, Buck. <laughs> what am I going to do here? All right. Look at that. I can't. All right. All right. There we go. That's how new it is. Hardest job open. of a realtor is to open the panel box. But this is a, let me look here. Yeah, this is a big 200 amp electric service. You can see things are broken out real nice and there's some open areas if you wanted to add anything. So you got the newer roof, you got the newer windows, you got the updated electric. You could have a new furnace, but you already have natural gas with wall heaters here. Behind Josh is the oral tank. Um, so I suppose if you wanted to put a, a high efficiency oil furnace in here too, you could. It's just a lot of people seem to opt for the natural gas. And of course, this is an outside door uh, to go to the exterior that we were showing you earlier. Right along the alley there. You yeah. want that off the alley. So if you did want to bring things into the basement, you don't have to do it through the house. So isn't that exciting, all this cool stuff going on in the basement of the house then? But there actually is a lot going on down here. Um, anything else I missed, Josh? Oh, I think we're ready for the upstairs. Okay, so this is so exciting, um, but we're going to have to leave. We're going to hit pause, and we're going to take you guys upstairs, and we'll show you the bedrooms and the bathroom up there. Be right back. Okay, now we're upstairs at 413 Clinton Street, and there's three bedrooms up here. So here, this is, uh, well, this is Buck's room right here. That's uh, <laughs> the deer right there. This is his bedroom. This would be the larger of the bedrooms up here, so we'll call this the master bedroom then. And you can see they got a lot of pieces here and and they apologize they do have a lot of boxes here they're getting ready to pack for moving into a new house then but again that's why they're selling that's why they're, they're selling, selling then and then as we continue on our journey here you have one of the coolest kid beds that uh, i've seen in a long time they have their own little as a matter of fact we should have a century 21 for sale absolutely should right here then yeah but uh but the bed's not included i'm sure that's going to go with the child but here, lots of light in here. Behind Josh is two windows, and over here is another window. So this room, again, has a lot of natural light coming through. Of course, closet area. Now, what I'll do, Josh, why don't you show them the third bedroom first. We're kind of doing this in a loop here, guys, because this, this bedroom and the bedroom we just walked to has a door coming off the hallway. So you can get into these bedrooms um, coming off the hallway, either one of them. And again... Each bedroom has multiple windows, so lots of natural light. And ceiling fans and closets in every bedroom. Oh, so, yeah. yeah. The ceiling fans. They look like they're maybe newer ceiling fans. Yeah, right yeah, they're nice. And then, Josh, I'll let you walk up into the bathroom here. Now, because you got to walk through the bedrooms to get here, sometimes you hear the word captured, but in this case here, too, maybe in what they call a Jack and Joe bath, because you can get to it through either bedroom. But it has the nice claw foot tub, uh, the pedestal sink here, nice bright colors they've painted in here. Then show them in there. This is huge. So uh, they just use it as a big storage closet, but you could easily open that wall up to the other bedroom to make it a walk-in closet from the bedroom or just leave it in the bathroom like it is. But again, this being your second bathroom, um, you know, you have the bathroom downstairs and one upstairs, just some different options that you can do. I want to show you something here. Josh, you can, of course, keep panning the rooms to show them here. But there is a doorway off the hallway so josh i'll let you step over there so of course behind josh now we're looking east this is the hallway coming back the bedrooms but then as he turns and he's facing west this is a door off the hallway that goes to the attic now that in itself might not be all that exciting but i wanted to show you this sorry i felt my tushy starting to get a little warm right there warming my buns up here then that's right. probably a good thing to point out that yeah. they, they have these on every floor yeah so it's and, and and it's really 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 heat's really good but coming up here, because we've had some customers looking for houses where they maybe could convert either an attic, a basement, or whatever for an additional either bedroom or den or man cave or office or whatever the case. But here, you have a doorway off the hallway. Nice set of steps here. Of course, you'd want to add banisters here. Um, here, you can see the OSB board here. They put new sheeting underneath that roof in 16 when they put that on. But add your insulation power up here, and you can create yourself. I'll tell you what, Josh, let me step out of your way, and I'll let you kind of show them the rest of the attic area. But you can see it's quite a bit of space. I think each floor is about 700. Well, let's see. If we had 1,600 square foot total, and then we got that addition. Yeah, so you're probably about 700 square foot per floor. So probably up here in the attic, you lose some space with the, uh, the slope of the 
roof, but you're probably a good five, 600 square foot that you could make up here of additional living space if you're so inclined then. Well, guys, I, Josh, did we miss anything? I think that's it. Gosh, guys, we, we are so glad that you watched us and hung out with us today for the video tour. If you have any questions, maybe you have a house to sell, you're worried about your credit, you're not sure how to get a loan. I mean, there might be a multitude of questions you have. If you have your own realtor, that's cool. We co-broke with other realtors just fine. Call him or her to schedule an appointment to take a look at that. Um, we can give you more information on that furnace too if you have any questions and financing programs. But anything we can help you with, we're, we're here for you. Again, my name's Bob Boob. I have my son, Josh Boob, here with me today. We're both part of Century 21 First Choice Realty. And our telephone number there is 398-0690. Josh, get, what you, give him your cell. I, he doesn't give me a cell phone number, so I'll have to have you give him his cell phone number. <laughs> Mine's 570-772-4764. And uh, text friendly, call friendly, wh however you want to get a hold of me. Yeah, that's good. I He blocked me a few months ago then, so I can't ever call. But you guys can. You can earn you it back, a, though. Oh, you okay, that's true. Back. I can earn it back. But hey, anyhow, we hope you had a good time. Enjoyed the tour. It was nice to talk to you guys today. Have a good day. Bye-bye.